Bim, guess what? I'm hungry. I'm kind of hungry twice because this is the same intro for two videos. Both of them are chili. One is chicken chili and the other one is beef chili and they will be done from scratch. And I'm also going to test the theory out with rice. So for example, we've got Tilda Pure Rice, which was 95p. I was it in the microwave for uh, two minutes, job done. But for the Tesco organic long grain rice, it's £1.45 and you get a lot more rice. But you need to boil this in a pan for longer. You need to do it for about 15 minutes. So the question is, or are you better off getting some like tilde rice or are you better off getting dry rice? So the recipe that we're doing now is beef chili. So this is recipe number two. Uh, the first recipe is already up online. This will be up soon and they'll be linked together at the end of each video. Uh, we're gonna do it uh, chili con carne from scratch with British mince beef. 20% fat, only £1.79 for a pack of 500 grams, which I think is pretty good value, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we've got the tin of chopped tomatoes, which was around about a quid. Uh, the chilli powder, which was 90p. We've already had one chilli out of it, and you can see we've hardly even scraped the surface yet on that one. Got the mushrooms um, and an onion, or half an onion, and the uh, remainder of the can of the um, red kidney beans. The difference, main difference we're going to do, apart from the beef, is the fact we're going to do long grain rice. Yeah, we're just going to boil the rice. So what's going to happen is, whilst I'm cooking the chilli con carne, the rice will be in the background, uh, simmering away. First thing you need to do is chop the onion and a few mushrooms uh, fairly smallly, and then we can get cooking. So we've got the rough chopped mushrooms and the rough chopped onions and garlic, and they will go in first. We'll, so we'll cut the onions and the garlic first. As you can see, the pan is boiling for the rice. Put the rice in. Now the onions and the garlic. This is exactly the same as what we did last time. Onions and garlic mixed together. Now in order to save on washing up, it's not a big saving, but it's a little saving, a spoon, use the other side of it to stir your other pan. Just be wary though, when it comes out, it will be warm. So we've got the onions and garlic nicely softened up. So now we're going to put in the minced beef. Break it up a little bit as you put it in and mix it up. Because it's got the 20% fat, it means you won't need to add any more fat because as the fat melts, it will naturally fry in its own juices, which is better for it anyway. Mixing the onions in. So keep frying that until it goes a nice uh, brown colour. So while it's cooking, we'll put in some chilli powder as well. Put in a bit more this time than I did last time. Make it a bit more chilly. -y. So we're, while we're stirring that, we're also keeping an eye on the, uh, the rice as well. Time to chuck in the mushrooms. Now, you don't need to put mushrooms in a chilli con carne. I just do because I like mushrooms. That's the only reason. So the uh, mushrooms, the onion, the garlic, the chilli powder and the mince are all nicely getting there now. So the next thing to add is going to be the uh, tin of chopped tomatoes. So just pour that in. Last time I actually added water to the can to get the juices out. But that made it a little bit too runny, so I'm not doing that today. Right then, so now we need to add the, the beans. Remember the red kidney beans. You don't have to add these, you could add baked beans, butter beans, whatever you wanted really. I'm trying to take the juice out, so I'm not going to tip them in. 
just going to pick them up and drain them through my fingers and then drop them in. So mix all that in. Now turn the heat down a bit so it's just going to simmer. Then leave that for a few moments. Maybe five or so minutes. So all the flavours get into all the ingredients. Meanwhile the rice is coming on nicely. And then what we'll do is we'll serve it up. So we've uh, used some of the rice. It was £1.45 for this massive bag. We took a little bit out, but not a lot. But how much rice have we got out of it? Well, to be fair, it's about the same as what we got out of the bag that was a quid from the other recipe. Again, link at the end of the video. So we'll make a bit of a hole in the middle. juice there you go so that is scratch chili con carne with pretty much scratch rice i mean the only way you can make it more scratchy is to grow the rice yourself and uh let's see what it tastes like chili con carne a la scratch so this is beef chili con carne made with uh, rice that was dry and we've got Kidney beans, onions, garlic, tomatoes, all in there, along with the chilli powder, and I seasoned it as well. A little bit of salt. Let's try the rice. Perfectly done. It's got some firmness to it, which is what you want, and um, seasoned as well. To be fair, the seasoning I prefer to the rice that we got uh, out of the bag, because to be fair, it wasn't really that seasoned. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's try the chilli. It's going to be hot. Feel the heat from the chilli coming through. A bit of rice as well. Try some rice. Really good. I have to say that um, making it from scratch, it's kind of rewarding rather than just opening a can and chucking it in. It's got the heat that I want. It's got the seasoning I want. It's got no ingredients in there that you don't want, like palm oil and uh, preservatives and all that other rubbish that they stick in when you buy a jar or something. So yeah, really good, easy and cheap as well. I mean, this, I've had a large portion here. You don't need to have this much. Um, and I've still got more than half left in a pan as well. So it's really good value. What was it, less than two quid for the, uh, for the mints, which is gonna do two days meals for me. The rice, 20p, a uh, tin of tomato, around about a quid. Uh, the beans, half a tin, so about 40p. The onion, half an onion, so that was, what, 20, uh, 10p. Um, garlic, well, was, I used four cloves, four little bits of garlic, out of one clove. And there were four in the pack for 80p, so that's what, 5p, 6p. So really, really cheap. And you know what's in it. So it's good for you. And it's cheap <laughs> at the moment. That's what we want. We want good and we want cheap. I forgot to mention the bread. If you want to uh, make yourself like a British taco or fajita, uh, then you can get a slice of bread. Get yourself some uh, meat. Get yourself some rice, fold it in half. Don't mind about the bits falling out. And then, mmm. So, don't forget um, to subscribe. Also check the other cooking videos I've done, the other videos uh, that I've done with the cooking. And then we've also got the video that I did when I did chicken con carne, although I called it uh, chili con chicken. I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye.